hello guys as you can tell the sun is just setting and we've got a nighttime holiday tour for you i'm so excited come on in come on in get out of the cold <laughs> i'm so excited that you guys are here today i am just thrilled that i get to share with you an evening tour of our home it is our most requested video and especially at the holidays so we're going to give you a full tour of the modern cottage dressed for the holidays and we're just gonna share it all with you give you great links and uh, all the sources and share what we did I hope that you will absolutely love our modern cottage dressed for the holidays if you are not a subscriber make sure you become one and hit that subscribe button and let's jump into this absolutely amazing tour come on <laughs> Started, shall we? I was thinking, should we uh, maybe we'll go clockwise and <laughs> show you everything? As you can tell, this is our main room, and we just absolutely love the two story fireplace. Our iconic uh, black fireplace there with the wreath on it is just so much fun. But before we get into that room too far, let's go through here because this is an area that a lot of people ask us about a lot of times. Here, why don't you back up? Jack is holding the camera. Back up just a little bit and let's share with them how we kind of got this little hallway here. We've got the console table that kind of separates the room just a little bit. And I actually didn't put holiday decor on that. <laughs> just looking at that thinking, I didn't put anything there. I think maybe sometimes it's okay to have areas that don't have something on them. And then over here, we've got the gorgeous uh, cabinet here. This is the workhorse of the house that's got all of our like essentials, dog leashes and everything. So our house is a little strange because it technically doesn't have an entryway. So we kind of created one for ourselves here. I've got some gorgeous like pine cones and some juniper, some live branches. I think it really looks gorgeous with the banister. Did you guys see how we painted out the stairway here? I love this. I love it. Painted out the spindles black. They were white before, and then the wall was black. We kind of flip flop things, and I've ended up loving it. It kind of freaked me out at first because it was so different, and then I've ended up loving it. So uh, doing all the garland up on the banister like this, I mean, I just... Love it. Let me show you the powder room because that is definitely an area that we did not get to. And you kind of have to come back here. It's actually starting to get kind of crowded with presents there. Uh, but back here we have our powder room. Let's see if Jack has kept it. Yes, mostly clean. <laughs> we just recently switched out the lights and put in the marble countertop and floors. That was one of the original things that we did in this room was put that basket weave down. And so for in here, I didn't put so much Christmas decor in here, just a really nice simple vase with more of the cypress that we cut off of our trees. I'm telling you, the best thing I ever did, I, I bought cypresses for, I think it was two Christmases ago, bought cypresses to use on the inside of the house. And when we were done with the holidays, I just stuck them in the ground. And now they're really nice because I've been cutting off of them for the whole season and they grow so fast that you're going to see them all over the house. But yeah, this is the uh, powder room and actually these were from Amazon and so was the mirror. Actually, the uh, pedestal was from Wayfair, if you can believe that. I know. And the flooring was from Floor and Decor. So if you're not a subscriber of our channel, you should be because we share all of our secrets on how we make the house look super luxe for less. So I'll let you start heading through so they don't see the back of me here. <laughs> Where should we go next, Jack? Let's go across the fireplace. Okay, across the fireplace. Kind of Christmas central here. Yes, so, well, we actually had the chair from CB2 sitting here in the white, which does look really good. But now that we started to add presents here and we know we have all the family coming, we actually switched it out to the smaller chair and we actually have two of these. So I think we'll end up maybe flanking the fireplace for the big day. So you can tell the house kind of lives and breathes. If you watch a lot of the other videos, uh, sometimes stuff gets moved because we know it's coming. Yeah. We have decked this out with gorgeous garland. We did a whole tutorial on that. If you missed it, we had so much fun. We don't want to take it down now in the new year and we're debating as to whether we're going to leave something like this or what. And then the gorgeous wreath, of course, just turned out so beautifully. So I just, I love how the house is literally centered around this room. But let's not get stuck here. Let's come back here in just a minute. So back through here, 
I have this mirror that really isn't part of the design, but you know, we all have the habit of checking ourselves when we come out of this room. So I have left it, but come on back here. We've got our gorgeous little gallery kind of area back through here. I love the fact that we had like our own little hallway when we bought this house. And wow, speaking of transformations, do you remember what this bedroom looked like when we first moved in? Yeah, nothing like this. No. <laughs> nothing like we, this. One of the first things we did was we ripped out the, the carpeting in the bathroom. We'll get there soon. And then as soon as we could, we put down these gorgeous hardwood floors. These are actually French reclaimed oak. So they are just unbelievable. I love the color of them. I love the warmth that they add. Then in here, we painted the bedroom and that was up for debate because it used to be dark and then we turned it light and I've ended up loving it, especially over these winter months because it does get quite dark back here because the sun is on the other side of the house, which you may have noticed when we opened the door, you could see kind of the beam of light on me. But we've ended up loving, I mean, I found some great things like the bench from Amazon, the bed from West Elm. I'll leave all the links for these items down below, or at least as many as I can, because we know we're gonna end up with a bunch. But uh, I ended up loving, we got the room ready for the one of the moms to come and stay when we went to New York, and I had it kind of set almost like a guest bedroom. Well, I loved it so much that I ended up leaving it. I've got the tray here with, oh, we haven't got the candle going at the moment. Uh, yeah, we need to get the candle going. But I ended up leaving the little cups and Oh, actually, I've got matches right here. This candle, every room of this house has its own candle. And this is the one from the from the nest, I think is what they call it. Mm -hmm. And it is just unreal. It makes the room smell so wonderful. And it really does, we like anything that makes it seem like there's an actual fire going in the house. So we tend to go for those fragrances. But that one is just amazing. Yeah, and in here we've got the Christmas tree. I've got these gorgeous, I've got these gorgeous flowers over here. I, I got some roses. These are just from the grocery store and so is the greenery. And then I added some more of my cypress in here. So that with the gorgeous wreaths and then with the tree. Don't you just absolutely love this tree. This tree. I don't want to take this tree out. I don't either. <laughs> I love the warmth it brings to this room. I know. And these little ornaments, show these them to these up close because these ended up being some of the most magnificent ornaments. These and the little ones like this with the optic little, like it's almost like a fluted design. Those, I look at them every morning because this is my side. So I look at them every morning and I'm just like, this is like the prettiest tree. It's so gorgeous. It's really pretty. And I'm really glad that Jack figured out how to put it in the planter because That's we true. weren't sure if we'd be able to figure that one out. And we ended up being able to get it into the planter. And I think that really just makes the tree just look permanent, I guess. It really and I does. I love that. I love that. And of that. course, the twinkle lights are magical. I do. I love the twinkle lights, the way you have those in there. And the velvet curtains are something that are definitely particular to this time of year. I've got a gorgeous wool blanket on here, mixed with some Amazon linens, actually. And then behind you, look back here, let's show them the blanket, how we've got that kind of like overstuffed with the big fluffy leopard blanket. And then I left the moss, actually, in this humongous marble It's bowl. so big. It is. This was a gift from Jamie Young, and I just literally freaked out when they sent that to us. It's so big and I love the way it looks in here. So yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we got a little Ralph Lauren book open. Kind of gives you a little that. atmosphere. Put the Nespresso machine in here. And it was supposed to just be for when, you know, mom came to visit. I love having the Nespresso machine in the bedroom. If you've watched any of my renovations, you know that I was always dreaming of having like a coffee maker in the closet or the bathroom and I just hadn't got it in there. And then we brought it in here and now I use it all the time. You can see the cups aren't all even here. That's because they're in the dishwasher from having been used because I love it. I love just the smell of coffee brewing in the morning. So I'll even turn it on before I work out and it just makes me more motivated to work out because I know if I work out, I get coffee. <laughs> so, and then I'll use it to make a latte, but I just love it. I love it. Uh, did you didn't show them the light? Did oh, you show did them not. the big light? Yeah. That ended up being such an incredible find 
from uh, from Amazon, actually. That was amazing. That was incredible. We didn't do too much in the bathroom, but one of my favorite things that I did was that I put this humongous mercury glass vase in here and added in these huge branches off of the trees. So yeah, and then I just got some cylinder uh, little hurricanes. I can't remember if these are the ones, I think I've actually got a mix. I've got one from Great and Barrel and one from Amazon. I have a couple sets of those. And then these little, can you see the little fluted design oh, yeah. in the candle that's in there? I thought that those were so pretty. Those add ambiance, but the Nordic Woods candle in here, I light it every single morning. Yeah, it's it just, gone. I know. I'm hoping there's going to be another one underneath the tree for me. I don't know. <laughs> I you, really hope I've so. I've seen you've been a good girl. I definitely or not naughty. Maybe I, <laughs> maybe I better just order my own. Maybe, the, maybe your list is the opposite of other people's. <laughs> yes. You're like, oh, she's been a good girl. She gets nothing. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> I've been very naughty. I may need to order my own, <laughs> but that Nordic Woods candle, it just smells like, it really does smell like the Nordic Woods. They just nailed that. Yeah, and really so did. I will be burning that for sure. I think I'll actually leave that burning all year round, actually. I think that's going to be a year round fragrance and then I might add florals to like the rest of the house, but I just love it. I love it. And then of course, like just sitting in the tub and being able to relax in here and with a little caddy. I love the olive tree. I still want to get a real tree for here. I think that we will eventually do a real tree. This one's a really nice, affordable one from Amazon. If you want, if you don't have the light in the space, that's always a good option. And then what is the best part is the fact that in this room, we also put in the TV. <laughs> This is why I don't have. Well, I could put the Nespresso you machine could put the here. Nespresso machine in here, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should add that to my Christmas wish Maybe list. Maybe you should. But yeah, right now we do have it with the little fire. But it is nice because these all have really nice little screensavers. So just with a quick tap, you can just change the art. So it is really fun. That you and you can really do, that. do use this TV. I like, use all it day long. every day. Yeah. And I'll like the candles and I'll turn on the fireplace, like fireplace. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's a fun little hack that just makes it feel like there's a fire going in the room. So I kind of love it. I love it. All right, back to the living room, shall we? All right, so in this room, the fun thing about the view is that you get to see the room the way that we see it when we wake up in the morning. And so in this room, it actually has two dominant walls because we had the fireplace that's now behind you that was so dominant we wanted to balance that out and so we saved and saved and saved and bought these gorgeous bookcases which i really love so you'll notice that the decor on the table tends to be to where whichever side of the room you're on it really looks nice from both sides i uh, loved these little cedar branches in here oh and the pottery barn that Pottery Barn vase has had its moment again. Uh, the beautiful sculpture, I left that, even yeah. as part of our Christmas Day decor. You've let got me, pine Let me just guns. show them this again, because I yeah. don't think people get this, They know, no one ever gets to see this view the way that we do. So yeah. this is literally yeah. what we walk out to, and it is just epic. It is, I, I think so. I, I love, love it. it. I yeah. love it. Yeah, and then we've just got the coffee table, uh, loaded at the moment. We've got the Pottery Barn candle going and it's loaded with like really pine cones actually from the yard and more ornaments. But in here I ended up still with a lot of the like cedar trees and the marble bowl full of ornaments. I've got a combination of pillows. I ended up loving these in that gorgeous black and white hound's tooth and then some velvet with the white piping. I think that with the sculptural lamp and then the marble bowl is just so pretty. And then of course we got a little bit of green velvet, black velvet, a blanket from Amazon. And then the lamps in here are, oh, they were on. It's just, it's not quite dark in here. It's not quite dark yet. yet. It really does look so magical in here. Maybe we'll just let you like walk through the house right at the end yeah. when the light has really kind of come down just a little bit. Yeah. But I need to watch my step because the elves have been playing. That's right. <laughs> and they've been playing bocce ball here. 
they've been coming with this with new activities every single day and uh yeah the bocce ball was a real hit you guys were playing Talking about the real hit oh ooh. <laughs> Look at those shoes. I know, it was in a splurgy mood. <laughs> <laughs> I would think so. Yes. Yeah, no, I don't want to talk about anything else but <laughs> shoes. Shame on you. <laughs> Let me bring you back into our, this is like our family area and like literally our most like hangout kind of area. I'm gonna mute the fire though because it sounds like there's like an actual bonfire going in here. Now we've got the volume turned down on the fire. <laughs> As you can tell, I do love the ambiance of having the fire going. I mean, it would be great to have a fireplace in every room, but that's a pretty good stand in. This is another one of the frame TVs and it has the frame on it, which I think is just so cool. And yeah, more pine cones. I, we have a really old pine <laughs> pine tree in our yard, so I literally just gathered up pine cones and stuck them on top of the moss. Can you show them how oh. it's got moss down in there? So I just like, yeah, just stuck it down in there. And then, yeah, we've got, this room is just like so small actually, and then it's like all windows. So this year, to get it feeling a little bit more like cuddly feeling, we added the velvet curtains. The tree, of course, makes the room feel amazing. We got this one on Amazon. Amazon! I'll yes. leave a link. I'm gonna leave a link. It's unbelievable. Well, and this one we did in the pot too. Yes, we did. You did that. I can't take credit for that. Jack is the one that he, it, there's a DIY on it in the room. So if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link for how to do that. But yeah, he just put the rocks down in there and stabilized it. So yeah, I mean, you can see a lot of the ornaments that come back year after year. And then we just kind of add a few things. You'll see that we added a tree this year. I know, like we don't have enough already. Yeah, I think it's but, eight. Yeah, well, that's not count. <laughs> <laughs> I think it just adds like this really beautiful ambiance to the rooms. And for us, what we'll do is that we typically uh, will have like the presence in that room. And then Santa always somehow knows that we want to have stockings in here and just moves the coffee table out and stockings end up spilling out all over the it's floor. because it requires about 100 square feet to bring <laughs> these babies in. I know. I don't know what it is with Santa. We just, we like to help him out and add a few things. Something changed and when you and I got married. Santa suddenly started bringing a lot of stuff for the stockings. I know. I love stockings. So, yeah, me too. Yeah, we have a lot of fun. And then this is just kind of the, more of the branches and just some cylinder vases coffee table is made of the most amazing travertine and I thought about switching it out but it's just it's kind of a petite room and I, I really ended up liking it the thing that I like the most in this room which should probably be the sofa because the sofa is amazing this is the most like here let me just show you ready here you sit down you sit down ready <sighs> I did that so hard my headband almost fell off <laughs> well that we how long we've we had the sofa a few years. We yeah. bought it during the lockdown, actually. Yeah, none of us have been allowed to sit in that space. Only if they're cuddling um, with me. You're the only one that's allowed sit to sit here, there. I sit here, and whoever wants to sit with me is welcome, but this is my spot. It's the comfiest spot in the entire house, which is saying a lot, because our bed is amazing. But this mink blanket is the best blanket, like, ever. It's so soft and fluffy, and... It's so velvety like on the back and we just sit here every morning and every night. We start the day here and then we end the day here and we just love it. It's really cuddly and soft and I think we've got, yeah, some H&M pillows in here, a little Amazon, the cool lamp from RH back here. But if you're looking for a sofa, the one thing I will say is that because it's plush, you do have to re-fluff the, the back pillows, but yeah. that's because it's got the down in it and so it's just, it's firm, but then plush and oh. We love this sofa. We love this sofa. We love it. We use this thing nonstop. Yeah, the other day, Landon had a chocolate oh my God. in his pocket. And he looked down and he goes, oh, and we thought he pooped his pants. He thought it, I think he thought he pooped his pants. He's like, oh God, there's poop on my phone. Yeah. I was like, oh. and then we were like, oh my gosh. Oh my and God. He had chocolate all over the sofa. And we thought we're gonna have to take. We thought if it was poop, we're gonna have to literally just take it outside and burn and it. And I was like, we're gonna burn this thing right now. <laughs> and then I was like, this is the best sofa we've ever had. We're gonna need to reorder this one. 
Uh, I'll leave the fabric and everything listed for you if you're on the hunt for an amazing sofa. It's actually from West Elm and it's pretty affordable. It's not the cheapest thing out there, but you really get an incredible value for your money and I think you'll love it. So yeah, yeah. let's go show them in here. All right. All right, so in here is our breakfast room and we ended up buying these gorgeous hurricanes from West Elm and I love them. They have this amazing glow to them. That paired with this gorgeous glassware from, oh. that one is from Amazon. And then, oh my goodness, I think these may actually oh. be sold out. The these little, yes, the napkin from amazing. Pottery Barn and the little tie from um, the little, what is it called? Napkin ring from the company store. I will, oh no, white company. I can't talk today. Too many things going on. But yeah, we ended up loving it. And then up here, we've got this gorgeous garland and it really makes this area make sense. It's so now we're like, can we just leave this up year round? <laughs> I know. We really love how that looks. Well, and Haley came in yesterday and said, ah, oh, this space just feels so hygge. Yes. Like cozy. Cozy. Cozy, yeah. yeah so cozy. They may not know. If you were just tuning into one of our videos, we lived overseas for 12 years so we lived in copenhagen for six and then we also lived in africa and also well, morocco in africa and then in spain so uh that's why she's speaking a danish word <laughs> yeah. it might sound funny if they don't know why but yeah we've got the nespresso machine sitting here got some live branches i just really wanted it to feel really elegant and sophisticated but then to have like this beautiful like raw just natural feel throughout the house. So even when we did the faux garland, this one is all from Amazon. I, I've got a DIY for that one as well. So if you wanna see that, I'll link that up as well. But I think that it just made the house feel so cozy and inviting and it's still elegant and sophisticated. Enough that I can wear my little tux, but then we can also be like chilling in PJs and like, you know, the fair aisle little kind of sweaters and just living it up. So yeah, in the kitchen, we've got- Oh, you passed that up. Oh yeah, the, you like, he likes this because it's a candle cake. Look <laughs> at this candle. Yes, I, I made a candle cake. I gave it a little garland of pears and cedar. And this is another candle that is making our house smell like heaven. It's yeah. another one from the White Company. This is their winter candle and it it smells like we have like a wassail kind of going in the room. It's got like that kind of smell to it and it is just unreal, unreal. But I do think like we left all the really big art. In fact, we actually added another big piece of art and the garland. And I think that by doing that, we kept the rooms feeling really elegant. It really makes them feel a lot bigger. But then we've got like homey touches like the winter forest this is my favorite thing to buy at the holiday season and then i use it all winter so even if you didn't get it for christmas buy it and use it all winter long because i don't know why we're so obsessed with taking all of our evergreens out we still have january and february of winter left to go which so, is the real winter which is real winter yeah like we don't get real winter across most of the country until yeah january. these are so cool this actually came with the s'mores set, which was really fun. If you saw the video where we did the outdoors, so you can use them indoor or outdoors, and they they really don't give a lot of heat off, just a little bit. Just a little bit. But you can actually make s'mores over them, which our kids have really enjoyed because we got a big bag of marshmallows, and so we've just let them make them inside as well. We've got the, the KitchenAid out. We are ready, ready for some baking. I know when that guy comes out, cookies are coming. That's right. Let's show them the cookie cart, though. Let's show Ooh. them that in this room. Now, should we, should we go through the doors? This is something that everybody who's been on our channel for a little bit of time has not seen very much. Are you guys ready for this? Ready? <laughs> well, I we don't use them a lot. No, they are, uh, they're usually closed, but this year we have them open. And so you can actually come into the dining room slash office. So you kind of get a view here of Command Central. This is where we still edit the videos for the channel. I've got some more of those beautiful roses here with the cedar from the trees. And then you can see that Jack got his second tree that he wanted so badly. Uh, this is another one we ordered from Amazon. I'm telling you, we found some good trees on Amazon. Yeah, we did. The Balsam Hill ones and the ones from Terrain, the other ones from Terrain are beautiful as well. But if you're looking for affordable options, 
Amazon has some good ones. I'll leave them all linked up. But yeah, we had some fun going to Home Goods and finding some extra ornaments. Well, yeah, because you got to realize there's this tree. I mean, look at the room. Yeah. This tree. And then just a few feet away, in case you forgot it's Christmas, there's another tree. It is kind of fun, though, because you can actually see the tree as you enter into the room. And I, er, when you enter up to the house. Yeah. So it is kind of fun because it gave us kind of the best of both worlds in that we can actually see it from out there and then we can also... By the way, this room, this time of the day is my absolute favorite. It is literally... When the sun starts to tuck yes. behind those trees across the street. Yes. And it just kind of glows and like the light's hitting these glasses. I know, I love it. And then I just finished doing these beautiful floral arrangements. Again, all of this is from yeah, you just the grocery these. store. It's just a grocery store. These and are mint julep glasses. Yeah. Or cups, whatever yeah, they're Yeah, exactly. And then boxwoods and cedar from our from own our yard. Garden, yeah. So, yeah, you don't have to, even this, like the other ones in there were so beautiful, right? But even this with that little jacquard like this and then just a, a velvet ribbon and some boxwood and the little cypress from the trees outside added in. I dressed up this room a lot more. This is new for us. So I know a lot of you watched the dining room makeover, getting to see how we transitioned the room from being an office to back to being a dining room with just the desk to the side. We've ended up using this room non-stop. <laughs> like sometimes kids complain when you want to do a formal dinner. Yeah, you know? but these are so soft and they- They loved it. I know, and they, and they swivel. Oh, so yeah, these are absolutely incredible. And then we've got the cocktail station set oh, up. I'm so excited. I know, we've got this gorgeous tray and the stunning glassware from, this is actually from Amazon as well. This was not, this was one of my little splurges from Ralph Lauren. That is a splurge, yes, from Ralph Lauren, so. Yeah, it's got that, that um, a croc embossed leather on it. And so, yeah, we're gonna have some fun. We need to grab the champagne bucket. Yes. Yeah, and bring that in here. But yeah, I ended up loving the garland over the mirror flanking there with the sconces flanking it. And I just think, oh, we didn't show them the cookie cart. There's a whole reason we came in I here. I know, here, come around this way. Show them the cookie cart. All right. The cookie cart was just actually, it, was, it wasn't really a joke, but we were saying in one of our Amazon lives how we were in, we, where were we? We were at Vienna. Um, uh, Salzburg. Salzburg. We were Salzburg. in Salzburg and this amazing restaurant pulled out the, the cart of desserts. And so that idea kind of stuck in my head. And, and I, I followed like, it for like 45 minutes. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. Uh, and I thought, why don't we just make our own? I mean, going to Salzburg would be amazing, but that may not be on the agenda for this year. So we just made our own little cookie cart. I did a whole DIY over on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, Instagram, you shouldn't be. And if you're not watching our Amazon lives, you should be watching those as well because we do this live with you guys and then we get to chat with you and it's so much fun. But we added the little Santa mugs to this. And then just again, our boxwoods are thoroughly trimmed up now. <laughs> they really are. We use them all over the house. We let them get scraggly and then like whenever we're ready, just we take some clippings off of them. So let's end up in here, shall we? Yeah. So yeah, I love these doors, don't you? I love uh -huh. the doors that uh, we put in. Um, what? Mm -mm. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what did I forget? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that was mistletoe you guys couldn't see. <laughs> I know, they were like, what is what? going on? Every time he walks underneath the door, they have to kiss. I know, it's super weird. <laughs> <laughs> no one would be surprised with us. But there you go, guys. This is our home, the main level decorated for the holidays. I wanted to be able to show you upstairs, but the kids are all studying for their finals right now. So forgive us. We'll have to, I'm like, we're gonna have to do something for that. We'll have to share, you, share their new rooms with you like after the holidays or on Instagram, check out Instagram. But yeah, we just had so much fun decorating the house for the holidays and we just wanted to get to share it with you. Uh, in January, we're already like, how do we keep this? Down. You want me to sit? Yeah, let's go sit down. Oh, you got I, your coffee waiting for I you. I so. do actually have my coffee. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. And we will actually see you before the year is out if you want to come back for a really amazing trends video that is going to shock you, but you're going to love it. So have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. And cheers, you guys. We will see you in the next one.
Bye.